Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the probability of independent and dependent events. Let's start first our discussion with this activity. Consider a box that contains 14 Coke bottle cups, 12 Sprite bottle cups, and 9 Royal bottle cups. Find the probability that letter A, a Coke bottle cup will be chosen, letter B, Sprite bottle cup will be chosen, and letter C, a royal bottle cup will be chosen. So to answer for these questions, we need to use the formula of simple probability in which probability of A is equal to the number of event outcomes all over the total number of possible outcomes in sample space. So if we will find the probability of getting a coke bottle cup so the number of event outcomes so the event outcomes of coke bottle cups we have 14 coke bottle cups so we will put 14 here substitute the number of event outcomes which is equal to 14 and to get the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space all we need to do is to add all the bottle cups. So we have 14 for Coke, 12 for Sprite bottle cups, and 9 for Royal bottle cups. 14 plus 12 plus 9 will be equal to 35. And the probability that a Coke bottle cup will be chosen is equal to 14 over 35. Now, to get the probability of getting a sprite bottle cup we will use again the formula for simple probability the number of event outcomes for sprite bottle cup is equal to 12 all over again by 35 therefore the probability of choosing sprite bottle cup is equal to 12 over 35 now what is the probability of choosing a royal bottle cup so again we will get the number of event outcomes for Royal Battle Cups, which is equal to 9. And the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space, that is equal to 35. So therefore, the probability of choosing a Royal Battle Cup is equal to 9 over 35. Let's have the same example. But this time, a Battle Cup is drawn at random and the brand is noted and then put back inside the box. Then, after that, another bottle cup is drawn at random. Find the probability that your first pick is a Sprite bottle cup and your second pick is a Royal bottle cup. Let's identify first the given. For event A, the Coke bottle cups we have 14. For event outcomes of event B, the Sprite bottle cups, we have 12. And for event C, which is event of getting a royal bottle cups, is equal to 9. And then after that, we will be identifying the total number of sample space, which is we can get it by adding this 3 numbers. So we have 14 plus 12 plus 9, which is equal to 35. And then for the solution, we will be using the formula of simple probability. And then we will get the probability of getting event B followed by event C. So we will be getting the probability of event B which is getting a Sprite bottle cup. And we will substitute it 
with our formula of simple probability, number of event outcomes is equal to 12 all over the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space is equal to 35. And we will multiply it by the probability of getting a royal bottle cups. We will use again the formula of simple probability and substitute the number of event outcomes for event C, which is equal to 9, all over the total number of possible outcomes, which is also equal to 35. The value of the number of possible outcomes in the sample space is equal to 35 because in this statement, it is said that a bottle cup is drawn at random and the brand is noted. After that, the bottle cup will be returned or put back inside the box. So obviously, the box will still contain 35 bottle cups once you draw the second bottle cup. So, drawing the second bottle cup at random, so your first draw, then obviously you will, then obviously you, then, and then put back inside the box. So, obviously, after putting it back, on the box, the number of bottle cups will be equal to 35 again. So the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space for your second draw, which is getting a royal, will also be equal to 35. And then after this, we will just multiply this numerator by numerator, denominator by denominators. 12 times 9 is equal to 108. All over 35 times 35 is equal to 1,225. This example is called independent events. So what is an independent event? So when we say independent events, two events are independent if the occurrence of one of the events give us no information about whether or not the event will occur. So therefore, independent events are events which has no influence with each other. And to solve for the probability of independent events, all we need to do is to multiply the probability of two events with each other. Let's have another example. A bottle cup is drawn at random and the brand is noted and then put back inside the box. Then. Another bottle cup is thrown at random. This time, the question is, find the probability that both Coke are bottle cups. So what is the probability that if you will draw your first bottle cup, it will be a Coke bottle cup? And for your second draw, it will be still a Coke bottle cup. Let's identify the given. So event A, which is equal to 14. Event B, which is equal to 12. Event C, which is equal to 9. And then the total number of sample space by adding these three numbers is equal to 35. We will be using the formula for simple probability. And this one is an example of independent events because these are events that has no influence with each other. And to solve for the probability of independent event, we will just multiply the probability of getting a Coke bottle cup for your first draw times the probability of getting a second Coke bottle cup for your second draw. And for your first draw, the probability is the number of event outcomes for the Coke bottle cups is equal to 14 all over 35 times the probability of the number of event outcomes for the Coke bottle cups again is equal to 14 and then after that this will be equal to 35 because you will put back inside the box the bottle cup that you have drawn on your first draw meaning to say your, for your second draw it will also be equal to 35, the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space. And multiplying these numbers, 
numerator times numerator. So we have 14 times 14 is equal to 196. And then 35 times 35 is equal to 1,225. And then getting its lowest term, this is divisible by 49. So 196 divided by 49 is equal to 4. 1,225 divided by 49 is equal to 25. Therefore, the probability of getting a Coke bottle cup for your first draw and your second draw is equal to 4 over 25. Alright, let's have our next problem. So using the same problem, 14 Coke bottle cups, 12 Sprite bottle cups, and 9 Royal bottle cups, suppose that two bottle cups are drawn after the other without putting back the first bottle cup. Find the probability that both cups are royal. Let's identify first the given. So event A is equal to 14. Event B, getting a sprite, is equal to 12. Event outcome of C, which is getting a royal cup, is equal to 9. And then total number of sample space is equal to 14 plus 12 plus 9, which is equal to 35. We will be using the formula again of simple probability. And to solve for that, all we need to do is to multiply again the probability of getting a royal cup for your first draw and the probability of getting a royal cup for your second draw. But this time, the condition is you will not put back the first bottle cup. Meaning to say, you will keep the first bottle cup in your hand. So let's compute for the probability of getting a royal cup. Number of event outcomes, so we have 9. All over the total number of possible outcomes in sample space, which is equal to 35 times the probability of getting another royal cup, which is also equal to 9, the number of event outcomes. But this time, the denominator, the total number of possible outcomes in sample space is equal to 34 because you will not be putting back the first battle cup that you have drawn in this experiment. So meaning to say, the total number of sample space for the second draw will be equal to 34. So 35 minus 1 is equal to 34. After that, we will now multiply numerator times the numerator. So we have 9 times 8 is equal to 72. And then 35 times 34 is equal to 1,190. And getting its lowest term, 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36. 1,190 divided by 2 is equal to 595. When the outcome of an event affects the outcome of another event, they are called dependent events. And when we say dependent events, if two events A and B are dependent events, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of the probability of A and the probability of B after A occurs. So in symbol, we have probability of A and B equals probability of A times the probability of B following A. So dependent events are events that affects the outcome of the other event. So this problem is an example of dependent events. Let's have another example. Using the same box that contains 14 Coke bottle cups, 12 Sprite bottle cups, and 9 Royal bottle cups, suppose that two bottle cups are drawn one after the other without putting back the first bottle cup. This time, we will find the probability that the first is Sprite and the second is Coke. Let's identify first the given, and we all know that the Coke cups are 14, Sprite cups are 12, Royal cups are 9, and the total number and the total number of sample space is equal to 35. 
and then we will be using the formula of simple probability and then after that we will identify if this problem is an example of dependent or independent events and to do that we will look at the problem so the problem says that we will not put back the first bottle cup that we have drawn so if that's the case this is an example of dependent events so we will be getting the probability of event b and the probability of event a and to do that we will multiply the probability of b times the probability of a followed by b and we will be substituting it with our formula the number of event outcomes of event b is equal to 12 this one all over the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space is equal to 35 times the number of event outcomes of event A is equal to 14 all over the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space which is equal to 34 because we will not put back the first bottle cup that we have drawn which is the sprite bottle cup so the 35 bottle cups overall will be subtracted by one bottle cup so 35 minus 1 is equal to 34 and then after that just multiply it 12 times 14 is 168 35 times 34 is equal to 1190 and getting its lowest term is equal to 12 over 85 therefore the probability that the first is a sprite bottle cup and the second is a Coke bottle cup without putting back the first bottle cup is equal to 12 over 85. Let's have another problem. A jar of marbles contains four blue marbles, five red marbles, and one green marble, and two black marbles. A marble is chosen at random from the jar. After replacing it, a second marble is chosen. Find the probability of picking a green and then a red marble. Let's identify first the given. So event outcomes of A, which is getting a blue marble, is equal to 4. Event outcomes of B, which is getting a red marble, is equal to 5. Event outcome of C, which is getting a green marble, is equal to 1. And event outcome of D, which is getting a block marble, is equal to 2. And then the total number of sample space, we will add these numbers. 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 12. And then after that, let's solve the solution. We will be identifying if this problem is an example of dependent and independent events. And this problem is independent event because we will replace the first marble that we will be choosing and then pick another marble so meaning to say we will return the marble that we have drawn on the first draw so this is an example of independent events so all we need to do is to multiply the probability of getting a green marble times the probability of getting a black marble. So we have the probability of getting a green marble, event outcome is equal to 1, sample space is equal to 12, so 1 over 12, times the probability of getting a red marble, so we have event outcome, 5, all over the total number of sample space is equal to 12. 1 times 5 is equal to 5, and then 12 times 12 is equal to 144. Therefore, the probability of getting a green marble on the first draw and then a red marble on the second draw after replacing it is equal to 5 over 144. So let's have another problem. A box contains 7 black marbles and 7 red marbles. What is the probability of drawing 2 black marbles and one red marble in succession without replacement. Let's identify first the given. Event A, which is getting a black marble, is equal to 7. 
event outcome of P, which is getting a red marble, is equal also to 7. And then, the total number of sample space, we will add these two numbers, 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. Then let's have the solution. We will be identifying if this is an example of dependent or independent events. So this is an example of dependent event because there is no replacement. Once you have drawn a marble, you will keep it and you will not return it on the box. With that, this is dependent event. And to solve for the dependent event, so we have to get the probability of A times the probability of A following A times the probability of B following A. Right? So we will multiply this three probabilities. And let's have the solution. So we have the probability of event A, which is equal to 7 over 14. So black marble is equal to 7 all over the total number of outcomes in the sample space is equal to 14 times the probability again of event A. So we have the probability of getting another black marble will be equal to 6 because you have one black marble on your hand. So the total number of black marbles inside the box will be equal only to 6 because the one black marble is already on your hand. So this will be equal to 6 all over the total number of sample space is equal to 13 because you will subtract the number of sample space by 1 because the black marble is already on your hand. Over that, you will multiply it by the probability of event P, which is getting a red marble. So we have 7 red marbles inside the box all over the total number of marbles inside the box, which is equal to 12. So this will be equal to 12 because on your hand, you have already 2 marbles, 2 black marbles. So the total number of marbles inside the box is equal to 12. And then let's get first the lowest term of these numbers. 7 over 14 is equal to 1 half times 6 over 13 times 7 over 12. Then multiply it. 1 times 6 times 7 is equal to 42. 2 times 13 times 12 is equal to 312. And then the lowest term of 42 over 312 is equal to 7 over 52. Therefore, the probability of drawing two black marbles and one red marble in succession without replacement is equal to 7 over 52. Let's have our last example. A box of candies. A box of candies contains 10 Yema candies, 12 Sampalo candies, and 6 Bukayo candies. Eduardo randomly chooses a candy, eats it, and then randomly chooses another candy. What is the probability that Eduardo chooses a Yema candy and then a Sampalo candy? Let's identify first the given. So we have event outcome of A, which is getting or eating a Yema candy is equal to 10. Event B, Sampalo candy, is equal to 12. And then event C, the Bukayo candy, is equal to 6. And then to get the total number of sample space, we will just add these three numbers. 10 plus 12 plus 6 is equal to 28. And then let's have the solution. We will be identifying if this is an example of dependent or independent event. So this one is an example of dependent event because you cannot return the candy after you eat it. Meaning to say, the candies inside the box will be less than one once you eat that candy. Right? So this is an example of dependent event. And to solve for the independent event, we will be multiplying the probability of A times the probability of B following A. So we have the probability of A, event A is equal to 10, all over the total number of sample space is equal to 28 times the probability of B, which is equal to 12, getting a sample hook 
all over 27, the total number of sample space. The first Once candy, you have which eight. is a Yema candy. So that number of candies inside the box will only be equal to 27. And then after that, let's find first the lowest term of 10 over 28, and that is 5 over 14 times 12 over 27, and then multiply. 5 times 12 is equal to 60. 14 times 27 is equal to 378. And getting this lowest term is equal to 10 over 63. Therefore, the probability of choosing a Yema candy, then eating it, and then choosing a Sampalok candy is equal to 10 over 63.